imagination. The place is not real. The avatar is not real, but the interactions are. The conversations are real. The emotions are real. The friendships are real. I don't know. I don't know why. <laughs> so virtual reality is replacing the Playboy book for young kids. <laughs> Who knows? Well, there's a limit, though. And there's an age limit. Um, the, there are areas of the virtual world where they segment out the adult mm-hmm. content from the general content, the PG content. So um, even though they allow um, people who are age 16 or older there, we don't allow anybody younger than 16 inside. Well, not officially, although you can't really verify it, just like the internet. Um, They segment out the the content that some people might find offensive Mm -hmm. or younger people are not supposed to be looking at. You, but the, sorry. No, I was just going to ask you if if there are those people who, let's say, are at work and instead of working are actually on the computer in their virtual world. And, you know, doesn't this kind of pose a problem because the people are supposed to be working, they're, they're in virtual reality? And, and do you have to buy anything? Does it cost you anything to be in this virtual world? Um, your first question is it's the same with the internet or the web anyway. They could be doing something else on the internet or the web mm-hmm. or watching a, a movie on YouTube or something or whatever. It's the same uh, distraction. So, um, so, so however you deal with those other distractions is how you deal with it with people who are at work. And most, most workplaces anyway, they actually put a, um, a firewall mm-hmm. so that people cannot get into certain websites or into certain sites. Um, and virtual reality has, it requires a lot of bandwidth. It requires a, a bigger network than most. The, um, so it will slow down the entire company's network if you actually do it there. Um, now, your second question is whether it's free. Yes, it is. You can come in on the basic um, account in Second Life for free. Uh, they give you a list of or a series, of, a set. I'm sorry, a set of avatars that you can choose from. These are default avatars, and if you don't like what they look like, you can modify them. And there's also this big um, activity, this 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 big thing inside the virtual world where you can go and hunt for freebies from designers, where they would give away some freebies just to invite people into their stores to 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 take a look at their stores. And there are events that we call hunts where you go from one store to the other and you look for that freebie inside the store. So there's there's lots of ways to get free stuff inside a virtual world. But I also understand it can cost a lot of money in some instances. In some, if you buy land, land virtual land is the most expensive um <laughs> expense. It, it, it was expensive thing inside a virtual world. Actually. I, I got to ask you, why would anybody waste good money on imaginary land? Because it gives you space where you can build your dream home. You can do that on a piece of paper. You don't need to spend money on... <laughs> on, on, on I, you know what? I, I'm finding this very hard to... to, to to understand why people do this, you know, if it's if it's a fun and a game, I can understand it. You know, like there there are plenty of games out there that kids get into. Uh, what was the Dungeon and Dragons? I think was one of the first ones. But but I understand there. Like you just had people buy land, and they how much does land go for in the virtual world? Um, it depends. The smallest piece of land is about uh, five hundred twelve uh, square meters, mm-hmm. and. You can get that if you pay the monthly free, the monthly um, premium fee, which is about um, between six to nine dollars, depending on whether you pay monthly or you pay annually. And if you want more, then you can buy additional land, mm-hmm. and additional land would also require you to pay a bit more every month. So it's like it's like a property tax if you think about it that way. And that can be expensive. Some people actually buy a whole, what we call a SIM, Mm -hmm. which is, or a region, which is actually just a server. And you get 256 by 256 square meters in that land. And you can have privacy so that there's nobody else around you. 
so, and nobody else can come in if you don't want to. And you can um, put different things in there. You can plant trees where you want them. You can install buildings where you want them. You can even change the land formation. You can have a mountain if you want. You can have a very deep ocean if you want. Um, so you can configure it any way that you want. Um, and many people actually do buy those regions just because of the privacy or the, the flexibility of, of what they can do in it. Okay, so you buy your land. You, you're, you let's see, even at seventy bucks uh, a month, you know, you're over, you're nearly eight hundred dollars uh, a year for, to to buy but, to actually yeah. play in a dream world. Yeah. Uh, why would you want to buy land it, it, that doesn't exist? Why would you want to buy any luxury item, for example? Well, I, I buy luxury items that I can hold. Okay. You know, I buy luxury items that my wife says I can buy. Let me put it that way. <laughs> but, you know, okay. you know, you buy a car, it's in the driveway. You buy a house, you live in it. You buy a swimming pool, it's in your backyard. You buy a, an 80-inch LED TV, it's on the wall. In the real world. I That's sell the house. I sell the house. I've, I've maintained it. I've groomed it. I get more money. I get return for my investment. And yeah. so, so why would I want to buy land in a virtual world? I, I don't understand it. Help me understand. Okay. Um, most people, one, one answer, one, one reason is that most people cannot afford real life things. So when they, when they get something in mm -hmm. a virtual world, they still feel as though they, they have that. But it's a false world. It's a lie. It's a virtual lie that they're telling themselves. This is, this can't be healthy. <laughs> I, I, I've, got, I've got to bring a psychiatrist on the show and talk to him about this because I'm sure that there's something desperately wrong with this. Like, I, this is do -do 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 -do. this is worse than Twilight Zone. Let me ask you another sure. question, though. Sure. Why do you watch a movie? Why do I watch a movie? I very rarely watch movies, and I very rarely watch TV. Okay. But for some people, they watch a movie because they get something out of it. They get the experience out of it. It's not real. Yes, but you know but it's not have... real. You know it's not yeah. real. You know that in yeah. the hour, hour and a half, it's going to be over. And you you know that if the fire alarm in the movie theater goes, there's a real fire, and you get your real butt out of that real chair very fast. Yes, you know, you, it's the you, same you, with, with virtual reality. You know that it's not real, but it gives you a certain amount of satisfaction. But people go to movies maybe once every two weeks to once a month. But people who deal in, well, how, how many hours a, a week do you spend in the virtual world? I personally decided to immerse myself deeply into it. So I'm there a lot of uh, several hours a day. Um, it's it's my business. I have businesses inside the virtual world. For most people, whoa, whoa, wait a second. Whoa, 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 let's back up here. You've got businesses okay. in the virtual world. Yes. Do you make money in the virtual world? Um, very little right now. So why because, would? Okay. Yes. Uh, all right. What kind of business do you have in the virtual world? Hold on, we've got to take a commercial break. My producer okay. is saying, I must be missing something here, Exo Nation. I, I must be. We'll be back on the other side of this commercial break here in the weir real world with yours truly, Rob McConnell, 1-800-610-7035. Email exxon at exxonradiotv.com. Virtual world. Virtual reality sex. Is it cheating? Hmm. I don't know. You let me know. We'll be right back. Have you exhausted all traditional means of healing without success? Are you experiencing communications through ghosts, angels, or even extraterrestrials and want to validate these experiences? Or would you simply like to speak with someone who can help you find your life's purpose? I'm Dr. Joseph Mara, 
and I'm offering my services to humanity at this time through consultations. These consultations include angel card readings, guided meditations, life coaching, and energy healing. If you desire clarity of what may appear to be unexplainable phenomenon, then contact me through my website at a guiding light spelled L I T E dot com to schedule your consultation today. Until then, I offer you love, light, and laughter. just had a great idea. Maybe we should give uh, get all the leaders of the wacko worlds into virtual reality. That way there they can blow up virtual buildings, they can fight virtual wars, uh, and, you know, virtual criminals. Wow. Let's take a, let's put a positive spin on this. Let's put all the negativity in the world today into the virtual world and make our real world a better place to live. Our special guest this hour is Leah to sorrow her website is love like dim sum and uh, her website is www.lovelikedimsum.com um you say you've got you, you do business in the virtual world uh what kind of businesses do you have the first business that i created was to create tales to make humans into mermaids and mermen oh well hold on here hold on here Pills to make men and women into mermen and mermaids. Yes. How's business? Very slow lately. Yeah, kind of fishy. Uh, the, huh? the real world economy affects us inside the, the virtual world as well. Let, let me ask you something. Why would anybody <laughs> want to become a merman or a mermaid? For role play, for example, or if it's something that they fantasized about when they were children or when they watched The Little Mermaid and they want to see what it's like um, to pretend to be one. Uh huh. Or they just love the way that it looks, for example. And what other kind of uh, businesses do you have? You said you had a few businesses. I create some scripts and some gadgets as well. Um, some I created a toy, uh, I'm sorry, not really a toy, but a game, a 3D version of Tic-Tac-Toe, mm -hmm. which has 4x4x4 four by four by four, a grid. Um, yeah. think little things, little gadgets that people can use inside Second Life. Most of the people who come into Second Life, they are usually not real-world artists, but normal people who learn how to use the tools to create things that you wear. Mm -hmm. uh, they sell skins. They sell hair, which is a little bit um, uh, strange when you first come in. Morbid, sell, yeah. It's a little sorry? morbid. You know? Pardon? I said it's a little morbid. <laughs> yes, a little bit. But you, you, buy a lot, you can buy a lot of the pieces that... Um, become your avatar. You can replace the default ones that you get when you sign up and you can put them onto your avatar. You can buy nails, for example, eyelashes, different types of clothing. You can buy vehicles. You can buy buildings, trees, plants, rocks. Uh -huh. um, you can buy rocks. Anything be, be, so you can put it on your land if you want it to, as part of your decoration oh, for your land. You can buy waves. Or something that Lee, Lee, I hate to do this, but we've run out of time for tonight. I want to thank you so much for joining us. And uh, what can I say? I think there's a bunch of wackos out there. Another one bites the dust. That is so true. Another one bites the dust. You know, can you imagine that? Spending money to buy virtual land, spending money to buy a virtual pill that turns you into a virtual mermaid or a virtual merman, having virtual sex... What is this world coming to? My name is Rob McConnell. This is the Exxon, a real place, not a virtual place. 1 800 610 7035 worldwide toll free. Email exxon at exxonradiotv.com. I don't know. What is this world coming to? Paying for virtual stones. Buying virtual land. Oh my good lord. We'll be back.
on the other side of this break. Don't go away. Dun, dun, dun.